Are you just starting in the hockey card hobby? Do you know which which box you should buy? Well, today, don't worry about it anymore. I'm gonna break it down for you. But first off, let's open this baby. All right, let's open this. In the last box that I opened, I didn't even get an autograph. I'm supposed to have one in every hobby box. <laughs> All right, Connor McDavid, pretty cool. Next up, Frederick Anderson. All right, Samuel Girard. And this is our clear cut asset, yeah, of Hayden Fleury. And we have the same card, <laughs> back to back. What the frick is this? That's so weird. Is it always like this? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Pretty cool. All right. So there is our asset card from this pack. All right. All right. So first off, before knowing which box to buy between this one, this one, and this one, let's just determine what you should not buy. Um, first off is eBay singles card. Uh, before you buy eBay, like a standalone card, please, please do your research um, on the card that's that's trading. Like, what's the true price of the card before buying it? I made this mistake before. I overpaid cards a lot, and because I didn't have any price guide, and I was just buying because I thought this was a good price out of nowhere. And today is your luck because. I made personally a price chart that will be in the description down below. You know, go for it, it's free and it's a super good tool for everyone that is new in the hobby. Please, please go check this out before buying any cards. The second thing that you should not buy is hobby boxes. Now, yes, they're one of that cost the most and you get, get and you can get the best hits in the boxes, but they're really inconsistent and they are overpriced for the value that you get. So that's first off, you scratch that off. All right, so for uh, this example, I'm gonna take this box all along. It's the 1819 Series 1. So first off, if we go with the Blaster Box, Blaster Box costs $23 and you get two Young Guns. That, that, that said, it's $11 per Young Guns. So that's a fair price. It's an okay product to buy. Uh, not my favorite, I don't buy it at all, but I know it's quite popular. It's a cool, it's a cheap alternative for younger people or people who don't want to spend a lot straight away. And yeah, the next uh, product that is, I think is pretty good is a tin box. So it's $35, 35 yeah, and you get three young guns. So that's approximately 11, $12 per young gun. Uh, that's the same price as the other. It's just, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, $35, three young guns, that's all right. And the last one obviously is the retail box. So you pay $70, you get six young guns, approximately $11, 12 per young guns. And there's some really good quality uh, in this one. So in my opinion, there is three series that are worth buying right now. Uh, first off, it's the 1617. Series two, uh, yeah, series two. Um, whatever, how, what product you want to buy. Uh, currently, the the one that's available, there's only retail boxes. There, the small ones like blaster boxes and tin boxes are pretty rare to be honest. So it's gonna hard to get. In this box, what you have is a Marner Young Guns, a possibility of a Marner Young Guns, a Patrick Laney Young Guns, and a Matthew Barzel Young Guns. This is three good quality. Obviously, Marner is the best, Laney second, and Barzel third, but it's good quality. Um, why you should buy this box also? It's also because there's a lot of inserts. So, in other boxes, they, it's almost all base cards except for the Young Guns and some huge canvas and some things, but in that box, there's a lot of inserts, OPG, Marky Rookie, and other cards that are pretty cool to have. So if you want some diversity in your boxes, that's definitely the one to go. Next up is the 1819 Series 1 that I have right there. Uh, I think this box is the one that should get you the most value uh, because you can have either Kotkaniemi, Rasmus Dalin, and Elias Peterson, uh, there's, there's still new, this box is still new, and it's the most recent one, so 
Rasmus Dahlin, Mikkel Kanyeni and Peterson are still worth quite a bit and honestly $70 to get one of the, these three guys a good deal because not only there's these three guys but there's also plenty of younger of other young guns cards that are pretty good just off the top right there like Tolvanen, uh, Aiskanen, um, Maxim Contois you know there's a really other the other young guns are also pretty good and there it's recent players so yeah i think it's the best box right now i think this series is the best on the market right now there's so many good young guns in this box that you can get and i obviously and if it just my opinion i would go to go with this one if you're looking for a bit cheaper option that still gives you good value i suggest that you go with the 1718 series one uh this is a retail box that cost me 40 dollars and I got six young guns out of them. Now, I didn't get any good young guns in this box when I opened it, but there's so much good young guns in this one. There's uh, Isher, Besser, McAvoy, uh, the Brink Cat, uh, Dubois, and there's also a couple of second tier, uh, like Kerfoot, Tyson Joes, Yamamoto, and a couple of others that are pretty good. So obviously this box, is a good deal if you're just starting in the hobby i would strongly suggest you go with this one it will get you probably one of these guys in this box i didn't get but the, ch the odds are pretty good um if you're aiming for these six young guns there's like 50 percent chance that you get one of these six guys so that's a pretty good uh, probability and um that that's a good uh, value for a box also, uh, I buy almost all my boxes from 401 Games. Uh, obviously, I, I personally think they have the best prices on eBay. Uh, I think they have the best prices for hockey cards, hockey boxes. And honestly, uh, if you have some better sites, uh, feel free to comment it down below because I have a hard time finding something better than them. They have really low prices, allowing, allowing you to get uh, good deals. So that's it for the video, uh, I hope this helps you, I honestly don't just want you to have a good starting point when you're starting in the hockey cards, and don't want you to waste money on some dumb buys, so honestly I would really go with these 3 series, 17, 18 series 1, 16, 17 series 2 and the 18, 19 series 1, nothing else to start. Afterwards you can go for other, other series, but for now I would just stick to these 3 and yeah, so leave a comment down below and what you thought of this video, if it helps you. And uh, we'll catch up next time. Thank you for watching.